HMP Whitemore is a maximum security prison for men in Cambridgeshire and as a category A and B prison it gets some of the UK's most dangerous prisoners. It is one of just eight high security prisons in the country and only prisoners serving more than four years will go there. This video looks at some of the prison's most notorious prisoners over the years and the crimes they have committed. Mark Fellows was responsible for two high profile gangland murders. He received a whole life sentence for the murders of close friends Paul Massey and Liverpool man John Kinsella. Massey died in a machine gun attack outside his Salford home in 2015, while Mr Kinsella was shot dead three years later in front of his partner. Fellows received a whole life sentence for the murders and later received a life sentence in his part in relation to a Salford gang war. While in prison, Fellows was himself the victim of an attack by fellow inmate Kieran Blair. Kieran Blair had himself been part of a criminal underworld in Liverpool and Knowsley. He was part of a drugs and guns gang which was behind the wave of shootings and arson attacks across Merseyside. Blair admitted conspiracy to possess firearms with intent to endanger life plus heroin and cocaine conspiracies and was jailed for 14 years in June 2016. While at Whitemore, he used a homemade knife to slash Fellows' face, giving him serious facial injuries according to a police report. Fellows had tried to fight back but had been overpowered and when prison officers arrived, Blair tried to hide the knife in his trousers. He was given an extra two years inside for the attack. Royston Jackson, originally from Norwich, was one of the UK's most vicious double murderers. He is one of only a small group of people in British history to be given a whole life prison order, effectively meaning they would never be released. In March 2019, Jackson died from cancer at Whitemore. Douglas Samuel was jailed for life back in 2013 after he bludgeoned his partner Gaynor Bale to death. Neighbours had called police after hearing a commotion at Miss Bale's flat in Homerton in November 2012. When officers arrived, they found their body slumped in the hallway. She was pronounced dead at the scene. He was initially sentenced to 20 years in prison, which was brought down to 18 on appeal and sent to Whitemore. Following an assault of a prison officer at Whitemore, Samuel was returned to his original sentence of 20 years. Curtis Warren was once described as Britain's Pablo Escobar. At one point, Warren had believed to have estimated a fortune of £300 million. In the 1990s, he was convicted of trying to mastermind a £125 million drug shipment from the Netherlands into the UK and sentenced to 12 years in prison. In the summer of 2007, Warren was released from custody in Holland and put on a ferry back to Liverpool. But within weeks of his release, Warren flew out to Jersey where he became implicated in a £1 million cannabis plot. He was jailed for 13 years in 2009, but has since been released. Charles Bronson is one of the most high profile criminals in Britain and has spent most of his adult life in high security prisons and much of that time in solitary confinement due to his extreme violence. Over the years, he has reportedly been involved in nine sieges, taken 11 hostages, has been accused of attacks on dozens of staff, including governors, and is said to have caused £500,000 worth of damage to the prison estate. Apart from his offending behind bars, Bronson is known for his strength, having bent metal cell doors with his bare hands. His daily training regime includes up to 3,000 press-ups a day. 